In just a minute, a look at one of the hottest Amiga add-ons, the video toaster, so stay with us. Well, we know the Amiga is good for music and animation, but it is also now the ultimate video machine, thanks in part to the video toaster. And here to show it off are Tim Jennison and Paul Montgomery of New Tech. Tim? Now, let me see if I get this straight. In the past, to do a bunch of video controls, I've had to have machines that were $500,000, $100,000. Now I'm going to be able to do this with this card for $1,500? Absolutely. Thanks for having us here. We showed the toaster recently at the National Association of Broadcasters show. And this is where the engineers go to buy their stuff. And they came by the booth and they said things like, this is unbelievable, this is revolutionary, that you can do this in a box for this price. And this is what they were excited about. This is the video toaster card. And when you plug this into your Amiga 2000 or 2500 and put these discs on your hard drive, you have the equivalent of a television hmm. studio. All right, Tim, we want to take a look at some of the things you can do with the toaster. F first of all, tell us what the physical setup is here. What do you have? Okay, I've got my own cameras here on, on corners of your table. Okay, so we've got your two little cameras here. Right, right. and the toaster is installed in this Amiga 2000. And the cameras are sort of inputs into your toaster mm -hmm. control room, can, if you will. I can take up to four cameras or VCRs. Okay. Um, so first of all, the first thing you can do with four inputs is you can use the video switcher. So I've got one camera here on the screen. I can now do transitions from one camera to another, like this wipe. Here's some other wipes. Okay, Here's so a wipe with a border. And moves. the uh, basic dissolve, which any good $20,000 switcher can do, I guess. Mm -hmm. But where it gets interesting is the uh, digital video effects. Now this is the part that you've never had in a home uh, studio before, low-end right. uh, production. That's for sure. The digital video effects are the most expensive. They can sell for, for equipment up to twenty to 50000 just mm -hmm. for that. And that's uh, a lot of fun. OK, here's an effect that I like a lot. If I could ask you to sort of uh, get out of this shot okay. for a second. Get out of your camera's way. OK. That'll do. OK, go ahead and sit back up again. OK. And I'm going to beam you into your chair Star Trek style, energizing. Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. OK, the next uh, major element of the toaster is the, uh, the paint box, uh, or the paint video paint system. And with that, you can, you can uh, create your own graphics. Mm -hmm. and what makes this different than, say, uh, a computer paint program is the signals that come out of this are broadcast ready. You can put it right on the air. It has 16.8 million colors, and you can do a lot of uh, interesting things. Tim's mm -hmm. loading up a mm -hmm. picture here. Yeah, here's a frame that I created in probably 20, 20 minutes or so. You can freeze live video and bring it into your uh, mm -hmm. paint box graphics. OK, another uh, major piece of this is the character generator. And a character generator is sort of an electronic typewriter. And you can put uh, uh, anything uh, written on the screen, such as mm -hmm. uh, rolling, mm -hmm. rolling credits. Right. Uh, I can roll sideways, too. And uh, what sets this apart from, from sort of a, a character generator you'd find in your camcorder is that we have uh, really much higher quality. Again, 16 million colors and, and 35 uh -huh. nanosecond resolution, yeah, which is yeah, the same thing right. you'd see on a, on a network program. Mm -hmm. And here's a screen that takes advantage of those features. <laughs> so. Okay. What the uh, people at uh, NAB were most excited about was the 3D graphics system, which I'm entering right now. And with that, you can create uh, a computer rendered animation. Let me load a scene here. I've taken your uh, Computer Chronicles logo mm -hmm. and uh, entered it into the, the 3D database here. And with this system, I can set up the uh, start and end points of the animation. Mm -hmm. And um, then once I've got the camera angles and lighting and color all set up, then I render out to videotape. And we have a tape. Okay, we actually, yeah, if we could roll that piece of video and see what the end product was here. I can tell you that stuff usually costs about fifteen hundred dollars a second. Yes. Right. That kind of stuff. And I understand you did that in about a half an hour mm -hmm. to set up the thing. To render it, it took a few hours to do. Now, now, uh, Paul, it does seem like magic. I mean, Tim was mentioning before. How do you do this? I mean, you've got every expensive machine you'd have in a TV studio coming off that one board. I mean, what's what's the trick? Part of the magic is the Amiga. The Amiga of all the computers in the market is the only one set up with video timing. So you can uh, easily add uh, the circuitry we needed to do it. In the toaster, we have four custom chips, and those custom chips give the horsepower to do everything. Plus, uh, we have a 350,000 lines of code 
mostly assembly language, mm -hmm. running in the Amiga, and mm -hmm. that's how it works. And, and who do you see as the user now? Is this really designed for the broadcast professional? Is this going to be high-end home video? Where do you see it going? Well, video is everywhere. It's sort of the new literacy. Yeah. And uh, people are using it in homes, schools, businesses. Uh, but the problem is that it, video you make with your camcorder looks amateurish and uh, is boring, actually. Right. Uh, so the video toaster is designed for anybody that wants to bring a, a network quality look to their mm -hmm. videos. And it is available as a product? It's shipping to Mega dealers now and uh, has been uh, for a while. And the price is? Uh, $15.95. Okay, thanks very much, Tim and Paul. That's our look at the new Amiga. Stay tuned now for this week's computer news.